This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Today is Tony Hamilton, the CEO of Georgian Energy, following an announcement from the company that they are raising £5 million for the IPO onto the LSE. The terms are one share for 2p, with one warrant for every two shares subscribed at an exercise price of four pence for two years. And this money will cover the drilling of the first well, that's the Hussar well, where the company is targeting helium, hydrogen, and natural gas. Thank you very much for your time today, Tony. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for joining us. Could you perhaps just give a uh, refresh our memories on the investment case for Georgina, what you're all about, and with this money, what will you use it for? Um, essentially, uh, Georgina has been uh, operating as an oil and, uh, as a oil and gas company, but predominantly helium, hydrogen, and natural gas. Uh, since uh, 2019. And uh, our aim is to re-enter two wells, one in Hussar and one in Mount Winter, uh, which have both recorded uh, gas, but were shut in because they were originally drilled for oil with the intention of bringing them in back into production to pre- produce helium, hydrogen and natural gas. And really what you're targeting here is early cash flow, is that right? Yes, absolutely. We're looking essentially from the time we close the funding to first gas within 12 months. First gas within 12 months. Okay, excellent. And from historical data, you're pretty confident, aren't you, that there's a, there's a fair amount of resource down there, but obviously you have to uncap the well, get drilling and actually find out what is there. Yeah, uh, primarily based on the historical data and the work we've done to date, um, we believe that we've got to extend the depth of both the holes. Um, one a hole, I think, by 750 metres and the other hole by 1160 metres, which will then penetrate the heavy tree formation, which uh, in both the Armadeus and the Officer Basin houses uh, traditionally high percentages of helium and hydrogen and natural gas. Excellent. And are you hopeful for a certain amount? Are you targeting a specific resource down there or are you having to get down there first and really see what is there? Um, look, I, I, I think that there's a, there's a research note that was mm. uh, put out uh, recently by, um, I can't think of the name now, DW Intelligence. Was DW yeah. Research, yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and they actually... They put a, and this is a unrisked to you or P50, if you're old school, uh, 303 BCFG of helium, 308 BCFG of hydrogen, and just under three TCFG of natural gas. So they're pretty, pretty reasonable and robust numbers. Yes, indeed. And they put a very high in situ value on uh, the property as well, if you can take into account that uh, you will actually get those kind of resources. So what, uh, what's the timeline, Tony? You're hoping to raise this money in the near-term future and then hit the ground running immediately with the drilling program? Yeah, we, uh, our plan is to close the funding. Uh, primarily, we took the decision on the advice of our uh, brokers, Optiva, to raise a minimum of £5 million so that we didn't need to come back to market, and that would then facilitate us being able to drill the SAR and bring the gas to the wellhead. Um, and obviously, uh, the current circumstance, largely thanks to the banking sector, has caused a little bit of a hiccup in the marketplace. But we continue to have a very strong retail interest, a very strong high net worth and uh, family office interest. So um, we're still very confident that we will get to where we want to be. Um, unfortunately, then, of course, we're running into Easter. But again, our plan is definitely to have it all wound up by the end of April. OK, have it all wound up by the end of April. OK. And then would you plan to get on the ground almost immediately? Um, no, there'll be a certain amount of permitting required. 
and a whole lot of planning and contracts and work that needs to go into uh, preparing for that before we ultimately mobilise. But our plan would be from the date we close the financing and list, we would expect to have uh, bring gas to the wellhead within 12 months. Okay, excellent. So hopefully a fairly rapid turnaround there. The key thing that people must remember is that Georgina is an operating company. And so we're not standing still. We are actually ongoing. We're working we're, uh, from an engineering standpoint, from a native title, from a permitting, from a, every aspect that a normal operating company would do, uh, we are continuing to do. Okay. And in terms of the IPO then, how can people get involved? You've said there's a lot of interest there from retail, which is fantastic. But if people do want to inquire, what's the best route for them to go down? Uh, primarily to contact Optiva. Um, uh, and uh, the, the primary contact there would be uh, Robert Emmett. Okay. Um, and I think uh, you can certainly make the details for their phone numbers uh, available. Yes, absolutely. So Optiva, the broker there, absolutely, that's the best way to go. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Tony. I uh, look forward to seeing how that fundraising goes and uh, thank you for your time today. Yeah, thank you very much. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.